favorites. I'm Miss Jackson and we are going to go over July favorites and review June's favorites from last month. So let's just hop into it. Um, last month I got to experience the Clay Body Scrub. Let's just say that's going to be a staple in what I buy. The Clay Body, body Scrub, it reminds me of the Target brand Raw Sugar Body Scrub because after you rinse it off, it literally feels like velvet. It's sticking to your skin and then you kind of feel it later on in the day, you still feel that softness. So the Clay uh, St. Bart's Body Scrub is expensive, but it's up there. If you don't want to spend that much, I recommend the Target Raw Sugar Lemon or any flavor that they have, but that body scrub had me coming out feeling like velvet. And then when I, what I mean by later on in the day is literally a couple hours later, I still felt and smelt, you know what I'm saying? The scrub on my skin. So good job with Quay. Um, next, I did talk about the Bum Bum uh, pack that I got, but unfortunately I did not get to experience the Bum Bum pack. It was the lotion, a spray, and um, I think a body wash. So I'm going to roll that on over into August because there's just so many things to try and actually get a true review on that I don't want to just try it one day and then like, oh, it's like this. No, I want to actually try it a couple of days and get a good review on it. So um, next is the uh, Sol de Janeiro Bikini Season. This spray I've literally been using every day for the month of July. So that's basically my summer scent for July. Um, Yesterday, I actually went to Magic Mountain and passed by a group of men, and they was like, damn, you smell good. I was like, thank you. So yeah, the bikini season is really a pop and smell for the season for summer. It's still summer. It's gonna be summer until probably after August, middle September. It's still gonna be considered summer heat, I presume. So if, if it's limited edition. I don't know if Sol de Janeiro still has it, but if they do go and get that so you can smell like the bikini season because that is a wonderful wonderful smell and it stays on my skin i put on a lot you guys see me i put on a lot but it stays on my skin um next i used in june was the fresh soy face cleanser <clears throat> i have no complaints with this cleanser except i don't fancy the smell the smell is almost like it's i have nothing no problem with citrus but it's very melon citrus like it, it smells like i just bought a melon and if you like that fresh fruit kind of smell then that's fine but um i just wish that it smelled better the cleanliness is fine it doesn't lather too too much which is what i'm used to with my wife rice water lathering but um i kind of want to go back to that because it's because i felt that it lathered and made my face brighter than the fresh it cleansed my face given that I've been breaking out because I've been swimming and being in the sun a lot, but it does cleanse my face. Let me move it closer so you can see. Um, I just don't fancy the smell and I wish it would lather up way more than it does. So um, next is the Mario Badassu Lip Balm. Um, I was very excited about these. They don't last that long, but they are very moisturizing. Um, I do find myself reapplying after a bit, but of course I'm drinking, I'm talking, I'm licking, that's with anything. So I don't know really if that was just me or it's just it doesn't remain on the lips that long. I'm gonna continue trying it out. I have one in my purse, one in my car, one here in my desk. So that would be an ongoing test, but the smells are very light, lightweight. It's not a thick, heavy gloss, which I don't mind because this is a thick, heavy gloss. This is the NYX, but um, just, just to work or drive around in. I just need some chapstick. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, next we have is the Vaseline Cocoa Radiant Body Oil. Sucks in like magic. Um, I used this before we went to um, the beach a long time ago. This was a while ago. I didn't pay attention that I was using it, so I'm trying to remember how it felt. But basically, it did keep a shine for most of the day. I don't think I recorded this. That's why. Um, it went on as kind of oily, but then it eventually evaporated into the skin and left to shine. So I do recommend that for our melanin girls or in anybody, it doesn't have to be melanin, excuse me, but it does put that copper shine on. 
when you're in the sunlight, you know what I'm saying? So, next is the Frank Body, um, this is from the Ipsy bag, the Frank Body Rose Chip Scrub. So, I got to use this twice. Uh, it smells like roses, it's a body scrub. It didn't leave a velvety finish afterwards. It's okay. So, I give it a three out of five because it does. A, it does leave that scrub effect, but it didn't leave that velvety effect afterwards. So it's not that good of a scrub. Plus, I had another scrub to go up against. So, um, but for the most part, I do love the rose smell. So when I want to switch it up and not smell like the Caribbean, I have some more to still smell like roses. Um, next, I have is the Estate Highlighter. Um, again, I think when I mentioned this in the video, the highlighter, I don't probably won't use that much but it's really just to highlight this area I put blush on this area more than a highlighter um, only because to me that pink matches the pink that I might want in my lip or you know what I'm saying so I haven't really used the highlighter um, to give it a review I'm sorry but you can honestly get a highlighter and it'll do the same thing in, from anywhere whether it's high end or low end it's just to highlight that cheek area so when you smile all that is golden you know what i'm saying so um next is the dual head eyeliner from formula z um this i did experience one time um basically it's a pencil instead of an eyeshadow and you know me i like to put the dark on here and then a lighter at the top it does the same thing that an eyeshadow does except that it does wipe off easily so it's not a concentrated kind of formula to wear It'll stay all day. You might have to tear your pencil around and reapply because it's a pencil. Um, next is the Glow Recipe, the Grava Vitamin C Brightening Eye Gel Cream that replaced my other brightening eye gel cream. Again, this is just a brightening eye gel cream. It's not a deep puffer. So I still need to use, I think I have my Aqua Bomb from Benefit. I think that's a good puffer. I have to check. By the way, this was just a cream to put under the eyes. Um, if you watch the vlogs, you see me use it a couple times after my facial routine. Um, I haven't noticed a difference. I guess you can say it helps take away the, the darkness. I did use it this morning. I guess it's cool, but again, it's just a little sample, so I can only get a got a good about like two weeks out of it. I don't have any complaints about it. It's a it's pink. So it has a pink tint. Excuse me. <clears throat> but I have no complaints about it. It's good so far. Lastly, from la from June is the Syed London Bake Coconut Oil. One thing is, I'm not crazy about coconut. Even though I like the bikini season, it's mixed with coral, whereas this lip oil is straight coconut. And it's oily, so once you put it on, I think you saw it in the last video, once you put it on, it's like falling down. So you literally have to like pour it on your lip. You know what I'm saying? I got time for all that. So that will be given to my daughter, because I have enough lip products. I had a lot of doubles this June double things to try double scrubs double lip products so i'm going to give that one to my daughter because whatever now let's move on to july the hot the hot month let's move on to july okay so for the month of july um not too much to talk about but i'm still going to just go with what i got the first thing, ah, Miss Jenny keeps putting me on blast. I'm gonna start calling her Miss Sephora because she knows more about Sephora products and things than I do, than I can review. And honestly, the last couple months she's been putting me on. She's put me on the Soul de Janelle uh, bikini season, and now she's putting on this. This is the Ocean, the Giorgio. She brought it to work. She let me smell it. I was like. And then it stayed, because when she let me smell it, she lets me spray it on. It stayed on my body the rest of the day. And it's called Ocean, and it reminds me of the ocean, it reminds me of the beach. And I love 
Suave. So this is the bottle. I got this from Sephora. So pretty. It's fresh. A little citrusy. Let me see if the notes are in here. I do not feel like putting on my glasses. So pop out. I know. Well, you can Google the notes, but it just smells so good. So I have not used this yet. I've been waiting for this review. So I can start using it. So now that it's open, I'm going to use it for the rest of, well, I'm going to use up my bikini season, but then end of July, heading over to August, when work starts, when school starts, I will be using this. <laughs> okay, that is one item. Thank you, Jenny. Um, my next item, this was a sample from Sephora for buying that, and it's just a Amika Hydro Rush Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I'm into shampoos that push the moisture into your hair, so I have not heard of Amika, I don't think, unless it's a different brand that I'm thinking of, I'm not sure, but this is enough to wash and dry my hair. I do have to redo my hair tomorrow. Sunday because uh, I have a new style that well basically it's the braided style I already did. different vlog don't worry about it but this is one of the brands that I am going to be trying to wash my hair with tomorrow so that was a sample from Sephora I'm um, also from Sephora I got this Macker Stag perfume little sample of course this is what it looks like and the notes in this is Argar Wood, Palo Santo and Leather Smells musty. This is the little sample that they've given. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, it's in my fingers. Oh, this has pepper. This smells like a substitute teacher from Russia and every time he speaks he, he does that that's what this smells like this would be good for a brute man a, a conductor on a train a, a, a supervising manager for a bulldozer uh, Yeah, this is pretty strong, pretty masculine, pretty peppery. Man, what is this? It said, let me show you a picture. Argar wood, you see that? Palo Santo, which looks like another kind of wood, and then leather. So this is, this is not girly at all. This is, like when I smell this, I instantly just imagine a Russian brute. Moving on. Let's, let's move on here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so next I have also from Sephora is the Anastasia Crystal Glass Lip Gloss. This is a lip gloss. I like Anastasia. They're very expensive. Their product, their product of the qualities are always very good. But they're very expensive. Um, this is what it's looking like. Y'all know me. I love the lip glosses. This is pretty. Very aesthetic-y. Let's check out the texture. It looks creepy. No smell. Okay, so it goes on not wet, which is good. Can you see that? This is it. And it's it's not sticky. It's a gloss and it'll stick. It's like it's like this. Honestly. It's just clear. There's no color to it. There's, oh, there's what it smells. It smells like, I don't know what it smells like. Just product, I guess. I don't know, but it's not a, I don't know what it smells like, but it's not a loud smell, so thank God for that. I don't, I don't really need a loud smell on my lips. These are my lips. <laughs> 
All right, so um, next I got this from TJ Maxx. It's just a rosemary and hair oil treatment. Um, I'm interested in putting the mint, the rosemary into my hair because I, help, I heard that helps with um, not dandruff but dry patches because there's a, just a patch in my head that gets flaky. So when I feel that or when I know I just got washed, I put this oil in that specific spot. So this was just a random one I found at TJ Maxx. I want to keep trying for my hair and my patchy spots. Um, also from TJ Maxx, I bought some new razors, mainly because the ones I had were for your eyebrows, um, and these are I'm going to use strictly for my face. I don't want to keep using the ones for my eyebrows for my face, so I bought these for my face. Say it to my face. Also from TJ Maxx is a body gua sha. So you guys, if you've been following me through my vlogs, I have been using the gua sha uh, tool and I haven't been wow. I've been breaking out and using structure in my face. But get back on track, I found one for your body. And on the back it actually shows how to maneuver it on your body parts. You can use it for your neck, the inner arm, the thigh. Um, I'm going to be more interested in like the back part, the waist part. So yeah, it's a whole guava tool. I was like, if I saw my face, you know, react to just the little daily facial exercises, I'm wondering what this can do. This might be a joke, but I said I'll try it anyway, so. Um, next on my buys for July. Buys for July. Wish. Wish has come through. And if you can recall, it was probably about four months ago, I got some CC earrings, little deep Chanel earrings. I wore them for about two weeks straight, and of course, they're fake. They start to tarnish. Once things start tarnishing, they're in the trash. So, I found these on Wish. And those who know, know that sometimes Wish will give you the actual product because over in the other countries, name brands aren't what they are in america they're different they're just like whatever with it you know what i'm saying so whether these are actually real chanel's or not i don't know i haven't tested them out and tried i really don't care because i pay for what i pay for but yeah i got some more cc earrings from wish i also found because i was looking for these gold dupe bendy earrings so basically they have a little f inside can you see that the ones i wanted and the ones i see are actually being sold uh legitly the actual fitting earrings they're about this size they're about they're longer and this is basically a smaller version of it you see that so i'm still excited for these because these are still super pretty i have a purse with a big f a fendi f gold and i didn't have you know i have gold earrings but i didn't have anything really to match match with it to coordinate so now these are going to coordinate with that purse because it's Fendi baby it's a dupe but I got it okay so very excited about those that is from Wish let's head on into our Ipsy bag this is the bag that they sent this time I really like it but it's a bag so what can you say what can I say Okay, so in this month's Ipsy bag, the first thing I'm buying, buying, the first thing I'm sampling is Keys Soul Care Golden Cleanser with Lacuna Honey and Turmeric. So this is a Keys Facial Cleanser. Pump into wet hands and work into gently lather. Yeah, this is a facial cleanser. So once again, I have a new facial cleanser. I haven't heard of Keys. So I'm curious. I have to look them up. I think I've seen them once. Is this what Alicia keys? I don't even know. I know that these stars have their their um their brands out, but I don't know if this has to do with Alicia keys. I'm gonna have to look it up. If y'all know, y'all let me know. It's not open. Cruelty free. I don't know. It might be, but this is a new face wash. I'm gonna eventually try. 
next in the Ipsy bag, I'm excited for this one, is the Diana Giannis Goat Milk Foot Cream. So it's summer, the heels are getting hilly and cracky because it's dry. So I got some Goat Milk Soul Keeper Foot Cream. Very excited about this. I'm probably gonna use it like every night before I go to bed. Because when you go to bed, that's when your body is absorbing whatever it received for the day. So if I put this on before I go to bed, my heels should be nice and moisturized by morning, I think. Either way, I'm excited to try this because putting on regular lotion on your feet, I don't know, I just feel like my feet just drinks way more than the rest of my body. So to have some extra clean there is awesome. Um, next thing from the bag is Trifle Cosmetics Jelly Juice Tinted Lip Glow. This is what it looks like. So it's a tinted lip gloss. Yeah. Here we go. Juicy Juice Trifle Cosmetics. Let me see what it smells like. Okay, so it's really pink and Sorry to say childlike looking, but if I want like a pink tint, hopefully it comes off pink. Let me just use it real quick and see. <sighs> okay. This is an automatic no. Only for the simple fact that it smells and reminds me of the dentist's office goo that they put on to make you numb before they stick you with a needle. You know what I'm talking about? So, I'm gonna give that to my daughter. Because I can't deal with that smell. I don't like the dentist. I don't know about y'all, but I don't wanna smell this on my lips all day, because I think I'm about to get a shot in my mouth. Let me take this off. Ugh, be nauseated. I don't like the dentist. Okay, let me apply some goodness here. That was a fail. Moving up. Next, we are going to try the Seraphine Botanicals Alma Nude Eyeshadow Palette. Very small. I just got a nude um, Huda Beauty Eyeshadow Palette last month. Or the month before. the month before. So I don't think I'll need this. But it's still cute. Because they remember, I, I got another one like this before. They keep kind of sending me the same kind of samples. I guess because it's my profile and what I like. But again, we'll probably give this to my daughter's friends because I have like two of these palettes with the same colors. But this is what it looks like from Alma Nude. These are the colors. They're pretty, it's just I have these colors. I can only get so many samples of so many things. So. But this month's Ipsy is not really hitting. But it's not good though, I still love it. So let's see what's going on. This is the Skin Generation Generation Skin Revitalizing Hyaluronic Acid Eye Patches. So these are to go under the eye. This is what they're looking like. I got two. So excited about these because when I'm ready to do a facial and get ready for the week again, I have some eye patches as opposed to my mask. Very excited for these. So the cream for my feet and the patches. Super excited for super excited for my perfume. Yes. That is all I have for this month's favorites. Um, I hope you guys are inspired to go and get something great this month for you. Um, and I'll catch you next time.